What is up guys? Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Wolf Bite Fishing. This is not a me catching fish episode. <clears throat> I haven't been able to make an episode for probably three weeks now. It has been terribly hard to work these fish out from what I've been doing and the limited amount of trips I've been doing. It's just, it's been hard to understand what these fish are doing. I actually haven't caught a fish since that cod in that that really bad cod video I made um, before my last video. So yeah, it's been pretty hard. Other people are finding it easier. Um, so hopefully, very soon, we can track down some fish and um, we can pump out a good episode for you guys. So the whole point of today's episode is we're going to be looking through um, what I use to catch the fish that I do and um, the kind of gear that I just enjoy using and it's like the nicest gear I have. I only really have three primary um, fishing rods um, that I use as a bait caster and two spin ones. So um, I don't have that much. They're not overpriced either. They're fairly cheap. So if you're looking for um, bargain fishing combos, um, what I'm going to show you today may help you out. So, um, without further ado, let's get into today's episode. So, the first reel we have here today is the Daiwa Crossfire um, 3BI. Now, they've actually stopped making the, the grey one that I have, and they've made these this new silver one, um, which is pretty much exactly the same. It's got three ball bearings, um, so pretty much everything's exactly the same. They've just made a newer product. Um, I have it in the 2500 size model, so um, let's run through some of the specs on that. Uh, it's got a gear ratio of 5.2, so that's 79 centimeters per wind, 79 centimeters of line you gain per wind. It's got three ball bearings. It weighs 265 grams, so that's that's like a quarter of a kilo. It's not even that much. Um, you can have four kilos of drag, and um, for 3.6 kilo line, you can have 155 meters, and 4.5 kilo line is 130 meters. So it's actually got a really good spool capacity. Um, what I like about this reel is you can actually get them for about $60 at BCF. So that's a fantastic price um, for these reels. And I've actually had my one for about three years now. It's lasted so long. It's actually one of the best reels I've ever owned. And um, super cheap as well. It's um, if you're looking for a replacement or a reel that you want to buy that's just kind of cheap and like you're going to put some hard work on it, um, like kayak fishing, a lot of your gear gets destroyed kayak fishing and stuff like that, I recommend the, the Crossfire to you. Um, it's got um, Twist Buster, so um, what Dai was actually trying to bring in now is um, anti-wind knot. Uh, if you know what a wind knot is on a spin reel, it's like a bird's nest on a bait caster. It's terrible. It totally messes up your day. Some of them can take ages to get out. So that was the first um, reel. And I've actually got that rigged up on a Daiwa Laguna um, spin rod. Um, and these rods are super good. Um, I, I've caught bat, I've caught my barra on them. They just like, they just an all-rounder um, spin rod. So I believe it's the Laguna C. Um, I'm not sure. They may even stop making the one I have as well. Um, I've got it in the four to seven kilo. So it's the Laguna 701 MHFS um, in the spin type. It's 230, 13 centimeters long. So a bit over seven foot. Um, it's one piece, which is something I don't enjoy at the moment. I love my two piece rods. Um, mainly because they're easier to travel with. Um, they're medium heavy. I've got it in the medium heavy. Um, it's cast weight is 7 to 21 grams. So you can actually like cast decent um, lures and sinkers and stuff like that with it. And it's 4 to 7 kilos. So um, as you can see, um, it's like, and this rod's very cheap. It goes along with the, the Daiwa Laguna, which is a level up from my uh, Crossfire. And you can get the whole combo for about $120 on special. 
um, at BCF. So that's another ripper deal. Um, just put some braid on it and that's pretty much good to go. Now you can see in my, in another episode of me handling that big fish out of the reef. I have no idea what that was, but I was using that combo. That thing could have handled that easily. I don't know what happened with there. Uh, the hooks pulled for some reason. The hooks were pretty blunt. They were pretty rusty, but could have been my poor angling seals like most times now. So, um, the Daiwa Laguna with the crosshair is a great combo. I've had it for over three years now, and um, it's great all round. Flick for barra, flathead, jacks, anything like that. Tons of seven salmon caught on that rod. So yeah, just a great all rounder. All right, for the next one, we've got the Daiwa Ed X. Now, they actually still make this reel, which is quite surprising for me. I have it in the 2000 size. It has a 5.6 with uh, gear ratio, so that's 75 centimeters per turn of the handle, which is um, quite a lot of line. Um, it's got nine or eight plus one ball bearings. So, um, super smooth. It weighs 225 grams. Um, it's got two kilos of drag. And um, it has a ton of line capacity. And that's what I like about this reel. It's got amazing line capacity. I can fit so much on there. Um, now, when I was actually looking at buying this reel, I was, um, I was deciding whether between the Daiwa Xcella and the Daiwa Air X. Now, the Xcella only has four plus one, I believe, ball bearings. Um, and, um, and this one has 8 plus 1. So I looked at it and went, I'm more of an estuary fisherman. I'm more like finesse. I want it smooth. I want it running well and stuff like that. Um, so I chose the Aired X. They're reasonably around the same price. But um, I chose the Aired X just because um, it's a bit smoother and it's more finesse, which is what I do. The Aired X is more like of a reef reel. But they're both fantastic reels. So I've got it in the 2000 size. and It has 2 kilos of drag, which is what most Daiwa 2000 size reels have. So um, pretty good. I think I got this for about $150 at BCF, which is a pretty good price. It's actually one of the most expensive reels I have. Um, but it served me so well. Um, if I ever think of buying a new spin rod, uh, spin reel, I'm probably going to get another one of these. And um, yeah, it's just one of the greatest reels I've ever Owned. It has air bail, air rotor, twist buster, and a bunch of other things that um, uh, make this reel. So it's they've put a lot of work into this, and this is what I like about Daiwa is they put a lot of work into their reels, and this is just like one of the one of the best reels I've ever owned. Um, by the way, uh, just something I love that handle. This little handle is just one of the coolest things. Um, it's even on the 2000 so just like a small thing but it just makes it so much more comfortable to own we have um, the rod I have it on they've actually Daiwa it's a Daiwa crest and they Daiwa's actually stopped making them for a while now and I picked up one of the last ones at BCF um, for like a bargain price because they're trying to get out of them but um that's a great rod it's a shame they don't have them rods anymore um, they used to have them in like heavier sizes as well. Like I have it in the two to four or the two to five. So really, it's like one of the greatest rods I've ever owned. It's, it's pretty sucky. I don't own it anymore. Uh, they don't make them anymore. So when this snaps, I'm probably going to cry for about a week um, or something like that. Right on to the last uh, reel. We've got a Cast King Royal Legend. Um, I actually got this off eBay because. Um, one of my reels broke. It was an Abigasha Black Max, I think, and um, it was a real good reel. But the um, the the cast button thing um, was seizing up and stuff like that, so it wasn't really good to use. So I chucked that out and bought one of these, and I was super surprised at how official like this casting um, this brand was. And so far, casting is one of the most amazing brands I go to these days. Um, it's got 11, uh, 11 plus 1 bull bearings in the, the bait caster with a 7.0 to 1 gear ratio. I'm not sure how much that is, but that's more than the spin, reel we was, spin reels we were looking at. It weighs 215 grams, um, and it, has, it can have 8 kilos of drag, which is, like, amazing. And the, 
the, the like the, the whole thing the whole thing it comes in is only 50 bucks so it's one of the greatest baitcaster reels I've ever owned and you can get it for fifty dollars which is amazing um, if I ever need another baitcaster um, I'll probably look at casting the good thing is they've got a ton more baitcaster reels that they have this is actually one of the cheaper ones and um, I just love this reel um, you can you see me using it um, actually you may not have seen me using it you probably have but um, I actually lost the cast control knob of it so that was my mistake um, but yeah 45 bucks 50 bucks is a ripper deal for this reel so just an awesome reel to use and I've got that on an Abigasha uh, Veritas 6 to 10 kilo rod um, I'm not sure if they make them anymore but it's it's nice and short I've, I've got the Abu Garcia Veritas baitcaster rod um, another thing that they've stopped making but they have a very much newer model is the Abu Garcia Veritas 3.0 baitcaster now you can get it in the 5 to 10 the 3 to 6 or the 5 to 8 kilo um, and you can get it in 6 foot 6 foot 2 or 6 foot 6 so they're they're all pretty short but the, what I love about these shorter rods is there's so much power in these short rods um, and they make it so much more enjoyable to use. Um, you can chuck nice and heavy lures with them um, and this one's only $150 so um, I quite like Abu Garcia rods. It's not a brand I usually go to but um, they've really done pretty well with this um, with the Veritas and the Black Max combos. So yeah um, that's another one of the reels um, are the combos I use. Now, um, I use my lighter one. My lighter one with the 2000 is like an all round. I just love using that. You'll see me using that in most videos. Um, I'll probably go target some barrel with them soon, um, coming into these warmer months. So I just love using that combo. And um, the other two are just fantastic whenever I need them. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, I know it's not fishing, and I know the last one wasn't fishing. It's been so hard to catch these fish for some reason. I just haven't been able to figure them out. Um, and that's mainly for my pool um, angling skills. But, you know, there's there's got to be times like this. Um, something I've got to do before the end of this video is do a shout out. Um, if you haven't heard of Hard Yakka Kayak Fishing, I think that's what he is. Um, go check out his channel. He does some awesome stuff. Um, catches more fish than me, so um, make sure you go check out his channel. He um, he knows how to catch fish. Anyway, um, anyway, you just go check out his channel. He makes some great stuff. Um, make sure you subscribe to him. He um, so yeah, just go check out his channel. Um, but thank you so much for watching today's episode, guys. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. Um, when I try and make these episodes, I try and help some of you out, try and find these bargain combos and, and fishing gear and lures and stuff like that. If you want more of these kind of videos, make sure you like this video and, um, and comment below if you want more of them. Um, so anyway, thank you for um, everything. Um, make sure you subscribe, comment and like and we'll see you next episode.